What is up guys? Today I'm bringing you a video of the new Mac OS X version 10.8.2. Pretty much I messed up in the beginning. I updated. It didn't save my progress so I kind of have to redo this part but nonetheless here's the update. Pretty much you can pause the video here if you want to check out all the new stuff. I'll be covering what is important to me. So when you first start it back up you'll want to want add like your emails and stuff back for your FaceTime and iMessage. Um, you'll have to re you have to agree to the terms of service for the cloud. Just stuff that nobody reads. Now for the shared photo stream and stuff, as for iOS 6, you will have to update iPhoto first. So pretty much just go into your updates and update it. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is the voiceover on um, the Siri dictation. It has a couple new languages like Spanish, so I got an example here. Hola, mi madre es bonita. And you can see it worked out very well. Mis amigos es gordos. Now you see that also worked out very well. So I do like that for if I have to write Spanish papers or something. And I mean, if you're offended by my Spanish, I'm sorry. I suck at Spanish. But anyways, let's get going. So next is the FaceTime. I have that covered up. Um, if you have iOS 6 on your iPhone 5, which or on your iPhone, which just came out today, then you can pretty much call and send iMessages. You can FaceTime and send iMessages through your Mac using your phone number. So people can like text my phone number and iMessage me without having to use my email. So next is the adding Facebook feature. So pretty much here you go into settings, mail, contacts calendar, you log into your Facebook stuff now I will get an incorrect password error, but that's because I have a privacy setting where it texts me if somebody's trying to access my account from an unknown device. And so I have to go through pretty much what this is saying here, download your contacts and keep them in your contact book, allow you to post status updates and photos and stuff to Facebook, and enable apps to work with Facebook. So I'm going to get to that in a minute, sort of-ish. So pretty much, I'm putting in my new code here. Don't worry about the reminders. There is a new feature where you can do shared reminders, kind of like the shared photo stream. Now here you can see it's bringing back in the contacts. And so, and on the side you can see how it has your Facebook account there too, just like your Twitter and other mail accounts. But as far as the shared reminders, you have to set it up. And I mean, I don't use reminders enough to really do anything as far as sharing reminders. So here we have I'm um, posting to Facebook in Notification Center. Center. I'm uh, testing from OS X. And so I'm going to finish typing this out. Love the update so far. And here you can set to who sees it. Friends, only me, and your other groups. And you can add a location if you want. So I'm just going to go post that. And now it's on my Facebook. And it is signaled by the mail going out application sound. Okay, so here's sharing a photo through Facebook. Pretty much you go up into preview. You can email, message, all that other stuff. But here you can go to the, you can share by Facebook. So I'm just going to do that. Here you can choose which logo, which, sorry, which album you want it under. Here you can choose who sees it. Here you can share and so now that is shared all right so now in game center you under friends it will suggest facebook friends i don't have that many friends on facebook because there's a lot of people i don't really care about and i really don't care what they're up to so it would pretty much show them there you got your games you got your challenges um you got requests of course all the basic stuff basically game center has ios integrated into it a little more and if you guys wanted to see a full list of the updates, like I said, go back to the beginning of the video and then just pause it there and I will talk to you guys then.
So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to be updated on the iPhone 5. I am getting it when it is released. On um, Friday, September 21st, I'll be doing an unboxing of the white and black, white 32 gigabyte, black 16 gigabyte. And so, yeah, just be on the lookout for that. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.